thank you very much. Please first let me express my deep thank uh, that I'm here, that I'm invited <coughs> to speak about books. Books I, are my passion. I love books, as you uh, mentioned before. And let me introduce to you some um, basic prim principles of book design. The medium book is in flux. In the light of current media developments, book design is changing. Much energy is being invested by publishers in the platform neutral processing of content of text. The more aggressive the promotion of the digital book form, book in brackets, the more readers will instead come to expert from the printed books. In the future, the printed book will be one of many media options available for readers to consciously choose between. In the face of competition from digital media, it is even conceivable that the printed book will experience something of a renaissance. What do books offer readers which digital media cannot? The manner in which a book is designed, its structure and its features, the choice of resources with which it is created will in the near future determine the retail success of the traditional book medium to a greater extent than has been true in the past. It is in the sensitivity of its mode of expression that the strength of the book lies vis-à-vis digital media in its materiality and physicality. Unlike ephemeral media, books have something definite about them. This will increasingly call for even greater resoluteness when it comes to the application of typographical design approaches and the choice of materials. To decide in favor of buying a printed book rather than a downloaded text is, is to consciously set store by the specialness of the book, by the option of handling it, by its physical nature and its relative durability. Thus, design, finish and quality are the significant factors. Design is not just a matter of legibility or of visual organization of text, but also of composition, of conception, typography, illustration, cover design, features, and the book's overall appearance. In other words, it is about the all-embracing design of the object. Book design is a complex medium. <coughs> The designer must juggle different aspects, keeping them all in the air at the same time. A book's design should reflect the author's voice on the concept the author wishes to transmit. A book's design offers a path through, with, through with which the reader interacts with the text. The double spread, the volume and space, presented by a book in the sense of the blank space to be found on the page are important visual instruments. Often this blank space described by Stéphane Mallarmé, you mentioned it, Ken, yesterday with your keynote, described by Stéphane Mallarmé as this meaningful silence is underestimated. Even if the text's alignment and position are prescribed, it is the decision of the designer to realize the details, the choice and size of typeface in proportion to leading and format. Precisely define where pauses will occur. Book design is a complex design process. Which kind of design is the appropriate one? What makes sense? What is necessary to design? As Jost Hochuli, a Swiss book designer and typographer, puts it, one should, he said, design in the way which appears to be the most suitable. The solutions found can be seen as vari versions, variations, interpretations. 
The basis of any graphic decision should to be make the content accessible and to make the reading process easier for the reader. And this with every means which book design has at its disposal. Books cannot compete with the swiftness offered by digital process. Thus, the qualities inherent in this analog medium, as opposed to those associated with digital matter, are becoming more significant than they ever were before. Does this mean, then, that high-quality contemporary book design is to be seen as a reaction to changes taking place within the media world? I wish to present to you the interplay between concepts, typography, book forms, and features with reverence to the best books, as they have been singled out in the annual competition Best Book Design from all over the world, which is held yearly. And I'm no longer responsible for this competition. I did this for the past 11 years now, since two days I'm again a freelance designer and typographer. But of course, my view on books is for the last past 11 years um, focused on this International Book Design Award. Here books are compared with each other, whose countries of or origin manifest markedly different book traditions and in which both publishers, publishing markets and reading traditions differ. Not only book categories are different, but also book design itself, akin to the particular culture in questions. These best books exhibit tendencies, however, which are to be observed globally, even if at the same time, regional, regional difference between different cultures interestingly remained evident. It is my thesis that notwithstanding micro-typographical differences resulting from the diversity of the respective writing system, macro typography and book design are universal. The book design medium speaks an international language. Let me introduce the five basic principles. The first is material, and you can read the keynotes. Linen and paper are an aspect, quality, color of material, weight, surface, design, and the matching of materials. Average is out was the observation of one book designer in a recent column. Much of what is produced is very similar. Books increasingly need to position themselves as design products in order to be able to stand out from the crowd of featureless market. To emerge from the masses publishers are vent venturing and will no doubt do so even more in the future. An experimental approach with regard to materials. Holding a book means that in parallel with the reading experience, our sense of touch, the fingertips and the, the fingers, our hands, all are active. In a subversive and indirect way, the material makes its own statement cover over and above that of the reading matter itself. The following book deals with Jan Palach. He, is an, he was a Czechoslovakian student who in January 1960, 1969 after the break spring, when the Soviet army occupied the country, doused himself with petrol and set, alight, set himself alight as an expression of protest against censorship. The young Dutch book designer, Nymke Meyer, has dedicated an experimental book to him, to him and to the protest movement of the time. The choice of material a recycling paper, which on account of its short fibers, tears easily and thus has a certain vulnerability, coupled with the humbleness of the printing technique, it is photocopying, 
give the book an extraordinary personal approach. Red is a central topic, representing here emotion, agitation, socialism, and blood. By a process of milling, this soft recycled paper along its side edge, a velvety surface is created which feels like skin, like bare skin. If the milt of our polished surface is also colored red, the eye then see the red demarcations in the book's format on every double page spread. The vulnerability and fragility which this book executes simultaneously create fascination and our horror, creating thereby empathy for the main protagonist. This anti-aesthetic, yet unusually sensuous book has been produced to a small print run. Had exactly the same typography and picture design been printed on white paper and bound as a hardcover and published as a non-fictional market book or even downloaded onto a digital reader, then it would have made a fundamentally different statement. This book of Ninke Meyers is exceptional, powerful, because it adopts a subjective position in, and is unmist unmistakably unique through the choice of material. Second part is the structure, the concept of the book. The keywords are conceptual structure, binding, internal logic, functionality, visual content, concept. The book designer is, in a way, a translator, visual author, dramatic advisor, and stage, stage director who is responsible for the conceptual structure. The book is a stage. Our ways of seeing are governed by tradition. So it is too with reading and looking at books. Generally speaking, the structure of a book with regard to its content is predetermined. Having opened its cover, we leave through the end papers, the half title, the title page, the list of contents, the foreword, the first chapter, and so on. In almost, almost all cases, this order makes sense. It is one which has taken shape over several centuries. In recent years, book designers have increasingly presented themselves not just as typographers or layout artists, designing according to conventional rules, but have rather understood themselves to be visual authors. The overall concept they devise constitutes an interpretive intervention into the structure of a book, and sometimes also into the way it is bound. They thereby expound their own way of looking at a topic. The prevalent codex is no longer the exclusive form. Nonverbal content, the form given to the book, book by its design, becomes, by way of accompaniment to the text, visible. Not surprisingly, this visual authorship can be predominantly observed in the category of the art book, occasionally also in works of literature, as visual response to a particular linguistic rhythm. Brödplatz Europort come into being in connection with a symposium of the Netherlands Photo Museum in Rotterdam. At first glance, this book appears to be like a documentary report examining the question as to how industrial zones alter the landscape, for example, the disappearance of breeding grounds through port expansion. A new port for container ships was built in Rotterdam. It is a work in which photographer Paul Bogars units his own photography with newly founded snapshots and historical photo material. The book has its own particular almost, almost playful structure, 
Four booklets with differing formats are incorporated into the main black and white book. These smaller booklets contain photographs, color in three and black and white in the other. These loose supplements can be leafed through independently. For orientation purposes, the pages of the main book plus those of the extra booklets are numbered continuously so that their original position can effortlessly be found again after reading. The small booklets serve the function of visual annotations, devoid of text. They converge around the central topic, like commentaries around the main text. Or, to look it another way, the main book, the hardcover, is like an island, the breeding ground on which rare birds, the four booklets, variously settle. Book design is not the design of two flat, two-dimensional pages lying next to one another, but rather design aimed to the book, book's overall space at visible dimensionality. The third part is typography, and the keywords are typographic box, choice of typeface, font size, word spacing, letter tracking, leading, column width, micro typography, legibility, macro typography, typography, layout, grid, composition of text and image, and so on. The style and size of letters plus their spatial organization are themselves meaningful units. Typography is a way of organizing information. Book design is first and foremost a medium which sets out to organize texts and contest, contents through typeface, highlighting and positioning. Book designers give structure to texts in order to make their content accessible, to present them clearly. The book designer renders a complex subject matter in a pertinent fashion, in the form of a book, that form in which pages physically assume a fixed order between two covers, that form whose pages consist of fonts and backs, and whose treatment for centuries had had certain connotations, whilst permanently experiencing changing nuances in its overall form. Book design is more often than not an invisible medium. Nihon Nikundai Katsuji is a book about script, hot letting, typesetting, and the history of the introduction of hot type letters into the Japanese typesetting and printing industries. It is an opulent book with attractively organized typography. On the outside, a black satin cover in a white case, on the front cover the character no on hiragana. One of the three Japanese writing systems typographically emphasized in a compelling and distinctive way. The Tokyo book designer Mitsui Katsui arranges the content in a highly lucid manner. Pictures and texts referring to one another follow a rhythmically ordered composition from page to page. Even if one cannot read the Japanese, the perfectly handled typography is striking. The right hand justified key, for example, is placed exactly on the axis where the two halves of an illustrated book come together. Axes are followed without the overall design being forced into a rigid grid. Text highlighting is marked through the use of characters of a bolder and darker weighting. Japanese typography is a complex issue. My reason for presenting this sorry, my reason for presenting this book is not so much that it is particularly experimental, but because it's typographical flair and fine detail all making for a sensitive, comprehensive, and clear typography are a delight. The three scripts concurrently used in Japanese contain characters of differing density, the complex Chinese characters of kanji, 
the more open symbols of hiragana and the more angular katakana syllabary. Accordingly, the gray value of a column cannot look as even as in a text in which only one script system is being used. The fourth part of book design is the picture, the style, the mise en page, the concept, and of course, the picture quality. Picture books, children's books, school textbooks, academic books, and illustrated books are all live from the quality of their drawings. Drawing style, penmanship, and stylistic devices vary according to genre. Whereas scientific drawings need to render every detail with precision, the illustration of, say, a text from world literature requires an independent artistic style of draughtmanship. Within the overall design of a book, drawing style put joys and thickness of typeface need to be matched with one another. The French picture book, L'Imagier des Gens, exhibits an illustrative style which for children's books is rare. The figures drawn by Plex Bolis, Plex Bolis, Plex Bolex, that's the name of the artist, are two-dimensionally composed. It's simply yet highly eloquent and distinct illustrations are especially captivating. Each one tells its own story through they are inter, all interrelated. The connection between image and text at the same graphic level is particularly unusual. The text is hand-drawn, but looks as if it has been printed with a rubber stamp. The colored areas within the drawings do not create a sense of bodily volume, nor in there is there any three-dimensionality through light and shade. Nonetheless, the effect of the drawings is not flat and two-dimensional. The superimposed transparent areas, printing is limited to three colors, create a rich array of color and great vitality. With modest means, the illustrator has succeeded in developing highly expressive personalities and a narrative atmosphere. And the fifth point of book design that most people uh, will mention if you will ask them what is book design about, they will talk about the cover. But this is only one part of the book. The key words are the inside and outside relationship, harmonize, harmonizing of cover and jacket, the composition, of course, the marketing aspect, the stylistic feature, and the attracting attention. The fundamental aim of a book's title is to attract the reader's attention and to rapidly convey the message to the, of the book. An intuitive response needs to be elicited from the customer in a bookshop in no more than three seconds. Whether the customer's curiosity is around enough for him or her to pick up the book depends on a number of factors. Parallel to its aesthetic appeal, a book's cover needs to make it obvious to which genre the book belongs. In order to reach a particular target group, a systematic conception for the cover is called for. The optical classification of the work to a particular segment of a publisher's program or to a specific series of is essential. Design techniques include the use of pictures, text, color, and space. Pictorial and spatial tension are the elementary importance here, for example, through the use of active background areas. For a book, to make a stylistically unified overall impression, it is ideal if the same colors, stylistic elements, and typefaces are used as in the interior layout. In other words, for the book's design to take place from the inside outwards, with the cover being devised last of all. 
Today, however, production pro procedures and phases between cover design and inner design run contrarily on the above to describe the sequence. Marketing departments need to promote cover designs in publishing previews long before the inside of the book has been designed or layout. Synchronizing interior and exterior is therefore difficult to achieve when it comes to industrialized book production. Nevertheless, there are some publishing houses which attach importance to the overall design and consciously make it a selling point in their marketing. That cover design does not end with the front title, but can extend across spine, back cover, and flaps is shown with the following example. Bill, it's a name of the Swiss uh, artist. It's not the English term for Bill, but it's a family name. Bill is a catalog about a Swiss designer and artist, Max Bill. Here we have a white cover featuring in the top right hand corner, Bill, using monotype grotesque black and no publisher's signet or author's name anywhere to be seen. There is reductionism pushed to the limits. Opening the book reveals in continuation of the names of the professions exercised by Max Bill, typographer, designer, sculptor, etc. In the same font size, but with each of the words assigned in different, of different color. The words continue independently from the end of the page over to the following one, and only then comes the title page. The exterior design is thus carried over as a kind of entree into the inside of the book. Once on closing the book, the reader will find on the top left-hand corner of the, black, of the back cover, Max, salient brackets, Bill Max raised the book to the status of an object in its own right. The book is a stage. Through its layout, rhythm is created. Full pages are followed by empty ones, colored ones by black and white. Pictures can be borderless anchored to the edge of the book, or they can be freestanding and thus have a more suspend character or they can fall away to the edge, making them direct and immediate in their impact. Designing books is like making films. As quasi-directors, book designers determine timbre and tempo, composing arcs of suspense or weaving in meta levels of the story. The point is, books reveal the structures of thought, Reworded in typographical terms, this means good book design through graphic structuring, facilitating and translating of a manuscript or idea into book form makes its content accessible. This act of translation is irrespective of language, culture or writing systems, a uniform one. Book design is universal. Thank you very much.